Hi everyone and welcome to Jack and Cat Adventures. Today we're going to be making uh, Mexican street corn. Not only is it delicious, but it's really easy, especially for picnics. So let's get started. You're going to want to preheat your grill to medium. So while that's heating, we're going to make our sauce for the corn, okay? So in a bowl, you're going to need three quarter teaspoon of tahini. I think that's how you say it. You're going to need three tablespoons of mayo. Now I am using Mexican mayo. Everything that I'm going to show you today is pretty much from the Mexican store, okay? So three tablespoons of the mayo. Okay, and there's three. Let me just wash my hand real quick. Okay, then we're going to use three tablespoons of Mexican style cream. It's just a thinner sour cream. If you don't can't find it, just use sour cream. If you can't find the Mexican um, mayonnaise, I would use Hellman's or Duke's. You don't want to use Miracle Whip, okay? So I need three tablespoons of the cream. Now this calls for a half a teaspoon of salt, but I'm only going to use a quarter teaspoon on mine. I do not like a lot of salt, so I'm just going to use a quarter teaspoon, but you can use the half if that's what you like. I just don't want it too salty because the cheeses and stuff are salty and all that. Then you're going to need um, a half a teaspoon of paprika. I'm just going to use my quarter teaspoon and do it twice. Two tablespoons of chopped cilantro. I'm only using a little bit. I like it for just a little bit of flavor. I'm not a big cilantro fan. Use what you want. And then a half of a lime or one tablespoon of fresh lime juice. And if you have a little leftover like I do, leave it because you can always put it over the corn when it's done. It's delicious. So we're just going to mix this together really well. And I'm going to set it in the refrigerator until I'm ready to put, um, put it on the corn after it bakes. Now we're actually, actually moving on to the corn. Peel it, make sure it's peeled really well. Now, I'm not going to do this, but it's in the recipe and you can do it. You're going to brush, I am going to do this, brush the, the um, corn with butter really well. Okay, now at this point, you can put, and this is three tablespoons of melted butter, and it's supposed to be four years of corn, I'm using six, just because I had six, um, and at this point you could put um, some grated cojija, this is Mexican cheese on it, and some tahini spice, and then you're going to wrap it up in your foil, I'm just not putting the spices on. I like just the spices that are in the um, mixture, okay? So I'm just going to do this, and this is going to go on the grill for 15 to 18 minutes on medium, and you're going to flip it every three to five minutes, okay? All right, once your corn's done on the grill, be careful, it's really hot. You're going to open it up, set it on a tray or a plate like me, and you're going to let this cool for a few minutes. You don't want to put that cream mixture on a hot corn cob. It will melt right off. The mixture, you want it to kind of coat the corn, okay? So we'll let these cool, and then we'll get back to you. All right, so you want your corn to look blistered like this. Now, you want your corn still warm, not hot, okay? So warm. Once it cools down a little bit, you're just going to brush your sauce on it as much or as little as you want, like this. You can also cut this off the cob at this point. 
and just take your sauce and mix it in and eat it out of a cup if you don't like to bite off the cap, okay? Then what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put a little bit more on just because it kind of is melting in just a little bit. My, my corn cob is not very hot. Okay, you just want a, a good flavor on that. Then, you're gonna take your Mexican cheese and you're just gonna sprinkle as much as you want on it, like this. And this cheese makes the corn. It really does. It's delicious. Just roll it in it on the plate. This one. All right, and there you go. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. And remember, you do you.